Hello, Bishop Stenbarry again. I said today's talk would be called Ban the Bus, Trash the Train, Curb the Cycle. A bit provocative, I know, but I think it's time for some provocation. We've had 50 years of the great and the good down at the council house telling us that the solution to our transport problem is to provide a really good bus service. And that when they do this, we'll want to leave our cars at home and take the bus. I think that's cotton. If people wanted to go by bus, they would never have bought the cars in the first place. So what's the answer? Well, I went to a lecture at the university, part of a series called Thinking Futures. A most inappropriate title if ever there was one. There were seven experts on transport talking. One of them was this chap, Peter Mann. He's uh, the chap in charge of transport down at the council house. Not one of these experts talked about any form of transport that has been invented after 1900. All they spoke about were buses, cars, bicycles and trains. And that's just ridiculous. But it's typical of what we get. About 10 years ago, the council commissioned a report from a company called Steer, Davis and Gleave into a proposed rapid transit scheme for Bristol. Uh, this company listed their experience in the front of their report. They had 22 projects, 11 of them were trams, 8 were buses and 3 were light rail. So not surprisingly they came up with a scheme to link two buses together to form a train. And they called it a Bendy Bus. And that's what became Greater Bristol Bus Network. They mentioned modern transport such as Ultra PR2 uh, just fleetingly. I'll read out what they said. Personal rapid transit technology is new innovative and largely untested and not currently available on the scale that would be required to deliver the proposed transit system. As such, it has not been considered further by this technology review. In other words, because nobody was building one at that time, uh, there was nothing they could evaluate and they couldn't be sure they would be able to get the materials to build it. Now, if you took that same approach in 1840 when Brunel arrived in Bristol and proposed uh, the Great Western Railway, we'd still be waiting for that to arrive. It's an absurd idea that we can't use anything new unless somebody else has done it first. So how well has the Greater Bristol Bus Network performed? Well, they won't tell us because the passenger figures are confidential. But I have found out. In a report to the Local Enterprise Partnership, a spokesperson stated that between 2003 and 2012, the Greater Bristol Bus Network had increased bus passenger usage by 7.4%. Well, what does that mean? Well, if you take this book, which is the Provisional Joint Local Transport Plan, published in 2005, and you look on page 26, you will see that it tells you how many people went to work on the bus in 2003. And the answer is, is that it was 13,610. Interestingly, it also tells us that uh, 163,960 people went to work by car, which I think is an indication of, of how many people want to use buses, and by rail it was 4,439. Well, you will realise that 7.4% of 13,610 is just 1,008. But hang on, that's over nine years. So that's 112 extra passengers per annum for nine years. But that's on 10 routes. So that means 11 extra passengers per route per year for nine years. How much did it cost? 80 million pounds. That's 79,365 pounds per passenger. I hope you think that's good value for money because you paid for it. So what about Metro bus? Well, that's 51 and a half kilometers of bus lane space. Will it be successful? No. I can state that with confidence because there are no bus companies queuing up and asking and bidding to run the buses on it. In fact, it looks as though the council may have to provide a subsidy to get bus companies to run buses on it at all. This is in marked comparison to say something like mobile phones where when the government announces some more frequencies, the big companies offer not just millions or hundreds of millions, but sometimes billions for the right to use them. It's a most peculiar way of providing a, a, a passenger service for stuff. So, I've talked long enough. Tomorrow I will get on to why we should trash the train. If you like what you've heard, then 
uh, or even if you don't, please uh, share it with your friends. And if you want to ask me any questions or to comment, bishopstonbarry at uwclub.net. Thank you very much. Bye.